guys it's Kavetta welcome back to my channel today I show you where we stayed in Zurich and how we got from Zurich to Luzerne Switzerland okay so we decided to go with Ibis Hotel again this is our second time the first time was in Amsterdam and we liked it it was tiny this is tiny again but at least it you know I feel like it gives us a little bit more space because it has one of the bunk beds up there it is super weird. Um, all right, so this is the entrance. This is where you come in. And then right when you come in, this is the toilet area. So you have a toilet on you. Okay, I'm just pressing lights. I don't even know which one turned that one on. But, <laughs> so that's the toilet. And then you have the sink out here. And then this is the shower, like what? <laughs> So we're not gonna turn on the shower light when we're showering. I'm gonna see if I can ask them for like two more chairs because this isn't it. We need chairs because once we come in from outside, we don't sit on the bed with our dirty clothes. So we need somewhere to sit and then shower and all that. All right, so then this is a mirror. Then we have a bed here. So Jarell and I take this one. Khalil takes this one that's that and then there's just that one chair so we definitely need more chairs so i'm gonna ask them and it is not 10 o'clock we we checked in after nine which was so awesome checking is at two and then she's like oh the room is ready so you can come in so that was awesome because we were just gonna check um leave our bags and then um go walk around and stuff so now I'm going to shower and then we're going to go eat breakfast and find something to do, something to eat because we were traveling all night on the train and I'm dirty. So that is the room. It is, it was one of the cheapest hotels. So I'm not even going to try to complain about anything. Okay. I knew it was going to be small. It wasn't going to be luxurious. We just need somewhere for three nights and this will do. Once again, we were happy with the Ibis Hotel. It is a budget hotel. It is small, but it is functional and it, you know, it did what it was supposed to do. It did what it was supposed to do for our needs at the time. And when I say budget, we're still in Switzerland. So it's not a 30, 40, 50 dollar hotel. <laughs> it's still over a hundred dollars a night. And that is cheap for Switzerland. So, you know, you gotta look at it and perspective so for me for cheap would be sixty dollars a night or something but for switzerland a hundred and something dollars a night and you're like yes it was close to the airport it was right across from a um tram station so we were we were able to just hop on and get right into the city within a couple of minutes it did not have food and all that in walking distance like we're used to but like i said two stops away we had supermarkets that's where Khalil got his hair cut so that was like five minutes away you had pretty much everything and then going a little bit more maybe another 10 minutes then that's where we got to everything but if you're like traveling and you're doing um you're closer to the hotel this is perfect but if you want to stay in the city of course you know is just going to depend on where do you want to spend your money do you want to spend all your money on a hotel or are you fine staying a little bit out of the city but still being able to get a decent place to sleep a clean place to sleep spending most of your money on food <laughs> yep that's what we spend our money on and you know because switzerland is expensive as is so you want to save money wherever you can but like i said this place was good we liked it We've been liking the budget hotels, only uh, the Ibis hotels. So far, only one of them disappointed, but I'll tell you about that later. But this one was really nice. And they even had the washroom, so I was able to do a, a load of laundry before we left. So that was good. The ride from Zurich to Luzerne was about 40 minutes and cost about, uh, I think it was 22 chefs which um, under 30 us so that was uh, that was good and that's that was for all three of us um i do believe yes jarell was free or the kids were free because i did buy the um kids pass so it worked out that i paid just for myself and of course i bought it last minute again so i spent maybe 
eight dollars more than if i had bought it a couple days before but you know we're doing the last minute thing so it, it just comes with the territory <laughs> but if you're planning ahead always always book your tickets your train tickets a couple days in advance because you'll get a better saving than booking it that day or booking it you know the day before so that is it for now um zurich was amazing like i said before and i will keep seeing it i absolutely love switzerland in the next video we will show you all that we did in lucerne which was an amazing amazing city and it just kept getting better and better <laughs> in switzerland all right so um if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give us a thumbs up hit the bell notification to stay updated on all the videos we post of our adventures and be sure to subscribe to our channel we will see you in the next video bye